So I yes. kick the war priest or another hero within four spaces and remove a wound from their hero. Well, you, you I'm, can't. I'm well, please. you can only remove three wounds at a time. What is this shit? Twilight of the Solstice, a holiday adventure. Twilight of the Solstice. It is an old school rules adventure. OSR is actually the name of the game. We're not playing D&D or Pathfinder. Old school rules is supposed to feel like those old D&D games, the thing that you'd see on Stranger Things or 80s TV shows. But I am Jeremy. I'm the GM. Uh, who do we got playing? I'm Joey. I'm Steffi. I'm Shaka. I'm Sylvia. I'm Devin. Shaniqua. Awesome! And we don't know who we are. This adventure is a Christmas module. Uh, it is given to me by Jacob Neese. Thank you, Jacob Neese. Who uh, gave it to me for my birthday several years ago, and I'm pleased to finally be running it. You'll notice that you, everyone has scratch-off character sheets. There are some rules on the back, but the basic thing is, because you all have amnesia, you do not know who you are. Once I say start, you will all be allowed to scratch off your hit points and starting items, but to do anything else, you'll have to try and remember it. So anytime you guys take a rest, be it after finishing up a combat or something, or taking a nap, you'll get to try to remember something else. But only try. And those who think too hard get hemorrhages, just like actual medicine works. <laughs> so, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know, it's pretty crazy, <laughs> but this, oh, it's old school, man. Uh, you could die during character creation, so <laughs> hopefully your HP is more than zero, buddy. Uh -huh. <laughs> so let's dive right in. On the eve of the winter solstice, you and your... No, no, calm down. <laughs> On the eve of the winter solstice, you and your companions find yourselves guests of a northern village that's hosting the celebration for the return of the sun. As we all know, daylight savings time is the worst thing on the planet, and they have smartly chosen to never use it. So, uh, there's been feasting, drinking, merriment. Um, that was very opinionated. <laughs> I mean, unfortunately, Devin, it is a fact. So, uh, I don't know, give me an example. Uh, what sort of names do we have? Is it like German names? I think it's like Viking names, like Spanish names somehow, even though it's well, snowy. We don't know. Our well, come on, give me, a, give me an example, like with the culture. Dumbledore. It's so shitty fancy names. I love it. Okay. <laughs> So the village mayor, Mayor Dungledorf, uh, gives all, each of you guys a, a candle, as you all, are all experienced adventurers, uh, possibly. Uh, you are all invited to take part in the sun ceremony. So each of you has a small candle, and they take you guys to a big old wheel. On this wheel, you're all supposed to place your candles in it and then turn it together, sort of uh, saying, um, you know, the sun is back. It's time for summer. Hooray! Uh, so here's the thing. As you guys start to turn the wheel and you place your candles in, the doors of the hall fly open and a freezing wind blows over the assembly. Uh, everyone starts freaking out and screaming. Your candles all go, go dark all at once. And the villagers are frozen in place, not moving, not with ice, but like time has stopped for them. You guys see an old woman. She's wizened and bent with age. She has long hands covered in uh, leather gloves that look like claws. She's surrounded by the swirling storm. She looks at you with a kind smile, and uh, she carries an ivory candle, much bigger than the ones you had that's flickering in the, in the dust. Uh, somewhere you hear a great clock strike 12 chimes, and all of a sudden, the air is frigidly cold. You can see a gigantic, giant, a strange creature with spurs off the back of its neck and the left half of its face all melted. Uh, a Jotun, mysterious giants from the ages long past, walk up behind her and then you fall unconscious. When you awaken, you no longer see any sign of the village or the ceremony. Overhead, the winter sky blazes with stars and you can see uh, the, uh, the moon is full. Uh, to your right, you can see a long ridge that goes deep, deep, deep into a canyon. You would not want to fall off of it. To your left, you can see what seems to be a, uh, a lot of snow flurries on a cliffside. Here and there, you can actually see entrances to caves going along this long mountain, as though you're on um, like a winding path that goes up a mountain. And uh, behind you, you can see a very long road that goes down into a wide valley where you think the village was, but you're not really sure. It doesn't look anything like it used to. And finally, uh, above you, you can see nothing but frigid cold as you go farther up the path. As you piece together the events of the last evening, you realize you don't know who you are. You only know how you feel. So go ahead and scratch off your hit points now. Uh, I'm not an addict enough. We have some burn. 200 hit points? Yeah. What? 200? I have 11. I'm sorry, you cheating piece of crap. Oh, she has 20. He has 20. <laughs> sorry, I saw she was using her house. Tanking it. And uh, before we scratch off your starting items, I think everyone probably should try this bad boy. 
So, uh, um, I don't know how scratch off cards work, but, yeah. but I figure we better have some burners, some practice cards, just in case. Mad money. I've never done a scratch off, so I don't know how so they work. Really? Right? What happens? I don't you know. Then the you rules. get the money. Yeah, they all have weird rules. If like, it's more than a dollar, I'm out. You just scratch the barcode and then you scan it. And you yeah. know. Is that actually true? <laughs> yeah, it's really yeah, true. Hey, you can play the game or you can go time. easy. I have no idea how this works, guys. <laughs> go hard. We doing it? We doing it? I'm doing it. Joseph's doing it first. Ah. Wait, what is this all the you're in there? Oh, you got a dollar. I anything, you cheating piece of... <laughs> Some gold. It just I who rolls in the cash. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I need a one. Nope. We're going to cut some of this part out. Oh, so close. All right. So we're going to split it. Yeah. So, uh, everybody, how much everyone has their hit points now? So here's the thing. You can hear the sound of grinding rock that draws your attention back to the cliff face. Uh, there's a group of short figures with long beards, male and female like, each burdened by heavy sacks. And one of them uh, was struggling with a great notched wheel. The same wheel from the village, actually. They seem to disappear into the mountain. Before you can react, you can hear the chilly sound of icy growls and wolves howling from somewhere nearby. However, on the upside, uh, as these strange creatures were hauling away their loot, they dropped some stuff. Everybody can scratch off their starting items yeah. now. All three? Um, sure, yeah. why not? I got a pole. I got a barrel. I got a bundle of wood, guys. What the fuck <laughs> is the difference? Okay, so I have chain I mail, cunts. a shovel, and a trowel. Oh, so I have nice. a little shovel and a big shovel. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm either I'm a, a gardener wizard. or I work at a cemetery. <laughs> I have a staff, a clay, clay with a pound, and a uh, padded. Yeah, what's a padded? What's oh, a padded armor. Padded armor? Oh, yeah, I got hide. Yeah, what's hide? Is it oh, hide. literally just hide? Oh, yeah, you have a bunch of cool skins and shit. Like leather. A lot? Like, it, like people, is that plural? People skins. Uh, I suppose so. I don't know. Hide, hide means hide leather armor, which is good. Weapon. So if you guys have a, we have a weapon, you can do d6 damage. It's <laughs> Oh, a statue there. weapon. If you have no weapon, you do D4 damage. Can we do, do can, is this like negotiable? Can I do like D10? How about that? No, absolutely not. Please? If you have an actual weapon like a sword or something bigger than a sword, you can do D8. I have a long sword and a pole. Holy That's living eight. crap, you're a monster. <laughs> Why do you have 11 points of health if you have like the best weapon? Maybe I got hit the most. That's true. As a child. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ouch. <laughs> right out the womb. Pow! So, Pow right in the kiss. There's, right the there's endless blowing wind going up and down the valley. What do you do? Go into the caves. It yeah, seems should, cold, right? Probably Let's congregate in the caves. Yeah. Where am I? For now. Let's figure out who <laughs> I'm we are. say that. Where am I? Who are we? Who are you? What are we doing here? Do I know any of you people? Kind of, you around. recognize these as being your friends, although you'd be damned if you could tell what they look like or what their race is or what they did for a living. Wow, Are this we sounds really colorblind. Is there a snowstorm, or is There's the a... snowstorm like away from? Uh, the snowstorm is light on the ridge, but okay. seeing down at the valley, it's not great. Okay. The one behind you isn't quite as bad, but it's not good. Should we follow those uh, those guys that dropped our equipment? <laughs> Do they look hostile? Did they look hostile? They took our wheel thing. Yeah, uh, they did take our wheel thing. Mm, Maybe they're just gremlins. I don't know. They took our wheel thing. Well, I think it's time to pursue. Do they have fire? Well, do uh, you, you didn't have see any fire on them. Hit them with? Yeah, staff. Okay. I got yeah, a ten foot pole. What do you got? <laughs> I have yeah, a javelin. <laughs> yeah, I can beat someone to death with a shovel. Javelin's not bad. Yeah, that's I would. I like how we're just gonna go hostile and prepare my javelin. <laughs> they took our wheel thing. Well, I mean, we didn't say we're going hostile. We're just pursuing and uh, seeing what Destroying. happens. Destroying. I didn't say destroy yet. <laughs> yeah. Aggressive negotiation. Very aggressive. So when you go to where you saw them, there appears to be a single gigantic boulder in the way. Um, Ooh, almost like they moved it behind them as they walked into the valley, or into the mountain. We walk around it. Uh, it's a gigantic boulder covering the entrance to the cave that they went into. I touched the boulder. It's I, uh, a boulder, all right. Damn. It's not a secret there, entrance, guys. <laughs> can we, is is there any, can we climb it, or can we all move it together? Like, yeah, you guys can all move together. Are there Let's any other entrances? Sure. Uh, who's, uh, who's, you, you suggested it? Go ahead and scratch off your strength. Oh, boy. I'm sorry, oh. your stamina. Your strength, strength, strength. Strength, strength, strength. Yep. Okay, is that one? Multiple strength? Oh, shit! I got an 18! Holy crap! Oh, honey, baby. It makes sense. You're, You're a you monster. Hit points of 32. I carry around a shovel. <laughs> so if everybody's helping you, each of them adds one. So roll a d20. Add five for all your friends. 
And then you're plus three? Holy eight. shit. <laughs> plus three, plus five, so eight. You crush the boulder in your oh, massive gosh. armpits and I don't know. I, I don't know what I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> Either why, way, why move it? your armpit? I don't know. <laughs> you smash the boulder into a bunch of pieces. You can hear the grinding sign, sound of uh, a bunch of mechanics and uh, very careful, very nice machinery now totally shattered. Good. <laughs> this is what I wanted. Well, let's go get our shit. <laughs> okay. So yeah, as you guys walk deeper in, you can uh, suddenly start to feel very, very... Hmm, what's the phrase? A straight, slight rumbling happening. Ooh. Like an earthquake? Hmm, um, uh... Or like Go ahead. Stampede, sorry. Go, go ahead and roll your uh, intelligence. <laughs> go ahead. Do it. Yeah, you, no, you, know, you, you gotta scratch it he off. He said roll, but he didn't know what he was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what was happening. Alright, let's see. Uh, uh, 16. Oh, that's above average. Nice. Plus two. Yeah, go ahead and roll your intelligence. So you got a 9, 10, 11. Nope, oh, we should probably roll. Yeah. Nice. 17? Nice. Yeah, you know, that's weird. A ba- massive mountain like this, there shouldn't be any earthquakes. This might be a trick. Maybe it's an illusion. They took a real thing. Wait, the whole mountain could be an illusion? No, the earthquake is an illusion. I meant maybe the rumblings. You are the mountain. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I say let's go deeper. Yeah, yeah. we gotta get Explore. our shit. Okay, sounds good. As you guys go in deeper, the cave starts to get narrower and narrower. Maybe only short enough uh, for a dwarf to stand up comfortably. The rest of you guys have to crouch. And I have no idea who's a dwarf, and we'll deal with that later. <laughs> As you get further and further in, eventually you can hear the sound of... Uh, actually, uh, go ahead and roll intelligence again. All of us? Mm, only one person. Wait, who? Oh, maybe we should go with the person that has a good, <laughs> yeah. good intelligence score right now. Because some of us might be able to Goodbye. 14. 14. 16. It sounds like they're using um, sounds to, 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 to in ventriloquism. It, it seems like they're, they want it to seem like it's coming from the right, but there's a passage in the left that it's actually coming from. We should go down this left one. But it seems to be coming from the right. But I feel like it sounds like it's echoing. <laughs> Sound logic? Let's go. <laughs> Everything we go and then could split up, gang. Ooh, let's <laughs> search our clues. Uh, mm-hmm. Splitting up's a bad idea. Yeah, I think that's not a good idea. Right? Although it's not a call of Cthulhu campaign, so let's that. do it. There's no sanity <laughs> good idea. <laughs> okay, let's go left. Okay, as you guys go left, the cave gets smaller, but then bigger. You want to find yourself in a big old larder. It's well stocked with flanks of reindeer meat, uh, a bunch of berries, uh, some of them that you recognize as being poisonous. If you were to eat them, you should never eat the mistletoe. Uh, another fun stuff like that. I shove meat into my barrel. <laughs> now a meat barrel. Is it too heavy? No, it's actually, it, it feels better. Great. It's better balanced. It's filled. Yeah, you have a filled meat barrel. The barrels are heavy just by themselves, so mm-hmm. if you're carrying that thing around. Maybe he's just like, oh, just casually carrying a barrel this whole it's time. It's going to scratch off his yeah. strength, and it's going to be like a one inch. He's going to drop it on his <laughs> well, do, do Maybe you have like a strap. Do you have, how are you carrying this thing around? That or With you his rolling it? He's, he's like you. standing on top of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you turned into a jester already. <laughs> there are two doors. One that goes back where you came from, and one that goes deeper. Let's go deeper. Wait, wait, hold on. Can, oh. can we search? Sure. All right, search the search. Yeah. I'll go ahead and roll a lock for me, Devin. <laughs> this is old school D and D. It's very D and D. Yeah, that's not gonna be good. <laughs> Try the little side. Oh, is, there is a little side. What about <laughs> me? No, I mean, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good, guys. I just uh, don't have good luck. <laughs> Or I have okay luck. Fifteen. There's a gun. <laughs> With I will take that gun. What? Absolutely. What arrow? There's an old-fashioned musket here. No. <laughs> oh my. Do I just write that down? <laughs> I don't care. Can I, I search? Or did he search everything? Can, is, is I good, feel like the, the, I hunt, the old hunting rifle is all you're going to get. Mm. Uh, is it in good condition? No. What? No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> the meat was in good condition. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but that's meat. The meat lasts way less long than muskets Well, this do. could have been here forever. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, do you, what's your intelligence score, Shaniqua? It came with the cave. It came with the cave. You know, that is kind of strange that there'd be a, a musket here in bad condition, but meat in perfectly preserved condition. Maybe they didn't know the gun was there. I don't know. So, maybe the 
people who inhabit this room weren't the first people to inhabit this room? Yeah. Probably. That sounds right. Is there anything else to find here? Nope, you feel pretty confident unless you guys want some more meat. We should leave a time capsule for when we die and then the next people to visit us. <laughs> Alright, who has something ours? they want to sacrifice? I got clay. I I'll make a little more fiends of us and just put them in places. That's really creepy. That's some Blair Witch shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, if somebody finds it. That's true. That one creates the first uh, geocache. Or tokens. <laughs> All right, so you guys oh, are head further in, and eventually you find what appears to be a kitchen. Now you, you don't go inside right away because there are people inside. <sighs> From behind the door, you can see two strange little dwarf-like creatures, each of them with long, pointy hats, uh, standing on barrels so that they can get into a gigantic stew. You know, it's a big, big, big metal pot. They're all stirring, and of course, there's like a open, dangerous fire right beneath it. What does it smell like? Yes. Uh, meat. Meat. Like, like meat. reindeer meat? Like, meat. like meat. Like it meat smells like meat. It's being cooked or meat that's been murdered. That smells like meat. Free range Other blood? meat. It's <laughs> like meat. Okay. All right. There's blood not, everywhere. Can we make a roll to see if we can identify? I feel like someone else should. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. What, <laughs> <are we doing? laughs> what type of roll is this? Intelligence again? Mm, I think it's going to be intelligence if you just want to look. Why are you using a coin, man? We got these. Because this is better. Mm -hmm. It's old school. You know, they, they didn't have plastic until I think 2012 or something. So. Intelligence. He's not a smart oh, man. Oh, you ding oh. that. Yes. <laughs> Boy. Sixteen. Now you've never even seen the inside of a schoolroom, and you definitely can't read. <laughs> <laughs> but you know enough to, enough to know that that's probably all reindeer meat. It's are reindeer they, meat, guys. Are they throwing anything in the pot like besides spices? meat? Oh, spices. Yeah. Can no I, people do I know anything. what spices are in there? <gasps> Any poisonous spices? berries? We should just ask for some. Oh, you know, there's just, loads of mistletoe on, and other dangerous <laughs> berries. Poison berries and we brass berries. Them. There's six of us. Yeah, poison Two berries. They're so dangerous. Yeah, but we don't want to just like assert Brass ourselves. berries and uh, they took our wheel thing. hams berries. How do you, you know that they people? took it? Like, it's not berries. Dingle berries. Dingleberries. Dingleberries. Yeah. Gross. Maybe. Dingleberries are on the brooms or something. Wait, so we remember the wheel thing. Yeah, absolutely. That's it's why we're deeper. Thing. <laughs> what if they're from the village? Is the pot our wheel? Why aren't they in the village? Is That's there the wheel, no, is the wheel in the, the room? You don't oh, see the wheel in this room, no. Yeah. Can I smell the wheel? Maybe it's been a while. How Can many I roll to see if I smell the wheel? There are two tiny, uh, tiny dudes. They're like four feet tall. But we don't know if we're tiny or not. Let's fuck them up. That's, that okay, is so the question. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Only one of us knows their strength. I'm really strong and I'm, I, I have feel, a lot of hit points. I so feel I'm like big. I might be tiny because I have a hand axe. Are you telling us we don't know our own strength? Yeah. So Literally. we're strong. <laughs> Man, that intelligence is just shining through. You got it. <laughs> you guys, we can literally just like rush the room okay. and just like all roll at once and just smack I'll them. I'll roll out once, yeah, he just, said. That okay, too. so maybe we should take a small, <laughs> quick vote. Them, How many like, people do we want? Do we want to attack them, or do we want to walk in and be like, "Yo, what's up?" Walk in and ask for some soup. Hey, guys, yeah. I'm, I'm sure we're cold. I have meat. All right, how about two of us walk in? I the strongest offer person and the second person. Offer some of the meat, meat. To, okay. for the stew. But I stole the meat. No, 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 they don't know that. You <laughs> have a boil. All right, yes. I don't know if I'm a dwarf. L lady person, I don't know who you are. You should walk in with him and figure out what's going on. And we're then if they in. rush you, we'll rush them. Yeah, just make some noise or something. All right, I'm just going to I'm gonna open that door. Mm -hmm. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you get to find out what your character class is. Actually, no, I don't think you do. I think you find out what your personality score is, though. <laughs> yes. Yes. Charisma. Oh, That's his charisma. Yeah. Ten zero. Ten. All right. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Who are you? A grim blob. It's uh, it's one of the people. You're making soup. Not anymore. We're not. A uh, schmebrong. Uh, the two. Uh, this is Rick and Morty. <laughs> very much. So. The two uh, dwarf-like creatures tip over the massive barrel of stew. <laughs> and a huge wave of boiling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab them out of the way. Sounds good. Go ahead and roll agility. <laughs> this ain't gonna go well. <laughs> oh, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. <laughs> uh, nice. Fat fingers is shining through. Wait, right can I check my own agility? I don't think so, no. You get your personality out of that. Oh! Zero! Zero! Yes! 
I accidentally <laughs> fumble you into it. You take four points of damage as a scalding liquid covers your body, melting away your Patty. chicken meat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did it cook it? Yeah. They're cooking your chicken meat. There we awesome. go. Uh, the two, uh, the two dwarf-like creatures start screaming, running around, and trying to grab tiny kitchen knives. Help! 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 We're not attacking you, we just want soup! We should've rushed them. <laughs> <laughs> That's my fault, now I feel bad. <laughs> this means something, I'm sure. Alright, let's pretend that I am, and us four are here to save those two dwarf guys from these two. I wasn't, didn't I enter the room with him, though? You, those two. Okay, sure. Gotcha. We're here to save them. I walk in, no, I, the I brought the meat! What's going on? <laughs> you know what? I look at the dwarves. What's your personality? Let's find out. <laughs> That's a pretty good argument, Shaka, I gotta say. 17 plus 2. Holy shit! <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> uh, oh, one. Oh, you know, oh, man, we saw it. I feel like even more than that one. Shaka! Two ones. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Shaka, I feel My like... My God! It's the meat thief! I feel like you walk in and then like, stumble over this yourself. This is your meat! Uh, both the dwarves have grabbed out tiny knives. They're like, ah, uh, the meat thief is here. We gotta, I, st we gotta protect it against the meat men. Wait, wait, wait. We got. We, we just want to talk. We were. We woke up in the middle of the cold. Uh, personality check, then. Uh, I don't. I think it's a little bit late with after two natural ones, guys. Uh, all you right. got a natural one. <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, Grim Glob. So uh, Grim Glob uh, runs out of the room, but the other guy is stuck in place. I give up. You can boil me alive. We don't want to eat you or kill you. I want answers. Where's what do you want? Wheel thing? What? Where is the wheel? We claimed that wheel, fair and square. Oh, oh, claimed it from it. us? Legitimate salvage. We found it out in the snow. Yeah, what? we were there with it. Okay, and you just left us to die. So that's pretty mean. Yeah. Well, it's just the season. We're, we're taking our wheel season. back. We're taking this meat. Oh, we take take all the meat you want. Give me well, your where's pants. Where's the wheel thing? You want my pants, too? Yes, I want your pants. The dwarf throws you his pants. Find out your class. <laughs> Smart. Give me your pants. <laughs> I really, I really... Which top character class at the top of the... Oh, top okay. Right. Rolls <laughs> so long size. I'd rather you didn't. Come on. <laughs> Fatal Come on. is the game that involves uh, adult body parts. Then you roll to see how big I'm a cleric. cleric. You know, everybody I'm a says cleric. Cleric. that makes sense. really no. good. <laughs> uh, you, you, as you put on the pants, you tear through them. Holy shit. I just wanted to check the pockets. <laughs> oh, okay, sure. Yeah, he's got his ID, his driver's... No, he's got, like, nothing. He's a, he's a tiny little Dvergar man. Dvergar? So yeah. Pants. I put it in the barrel. Like a, like a dark dwarf. <laughs> yeah, really you like put the, you, you, you put the pants in the meat barrel. Yeah. It's got to soak in with the good it's thing. Marinate, yeah. Good. Listen, we, <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> okay, we, we found you people out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I don't know what's going on. The, the, the giants have showed up and uh, we, we, we got to fend for ourselves. Giants? giants? How many are there? Oh, I don't know. Hundreds, thousands. I've never been able to count. Thousands of giants. Where did they come from? I don't know. Uh, How many fingers do you have? I can't. I don't know. Five, three. Who knows? Doesn't matter. <laughs> they, they just showed up one day. There was a big loud. There was. There were twelve long gong sounds, and all of a sudden they were here. I, I don't. I don't get it. How did you? How, How smart are they? I don't know. I uh, can't really <laughs> engage intelligence very well either. Oh, okay. I can tell. <laughs> so where's your leader at? We don't have a leader. He was eaten by the giants. So that makes you the leader. I, I don't know how that works. I've no, got no concept of hierarchy. What's a village? Mm, okay. My you vocabulary your, is limited. Have you lived You're here all your life? Uh, well, yes. How long have you been alive? I, uh, you, you're asking me the question I don't know how to count. This so, thing is useless to us. Do you have a clan name? <laughs> oh, yes, we're the Devergar. The Devergar. The you're the ones we're here to save. I feel like we Can you help us out? Just get rid of them. I really, we, my squad really needs weapons and any provisions you can provide us so that we may smite the giants. Roll personality. <laughs> 9 plus 17. No, 9 plus 2. Oh, really? That yeah. sucks. Well, it's still more than a 10. Seven. He doesn't it's better than a 1. Uh, Grimglob doesn't freak out or anything. He says, uh, oh, fine, take all the knives and meat that you want. Just leave me alone. So they all only right. have tiny knives? I'll take a knife. I'll you guys all have tiny knives. They're no wor they're no better than punching. Is it like a table knife, basically? They're table knives. Great. However, at that point... Table knife? No. They're, they're, then why do they have so much meat? How are they going to cut the meat if they don't have steak knives? Uh, what's your intelligence score? I don't know. You're going to find out how much you know about dwarves. 
Here's the thing, guys. As you guys are arguing, you can hear a 11 loud gongs. Only 11? 11 very loud gongs coming from somewhere. I mm-hmm. feel like that's a countdown. <gasps> Maybe it's counting down. Yeah, oh shit, oh, Cherry said it. <laughs> well, Can I tell from which head. direction the gongs are coming from? Inside the house. Oh. What house? We're in the house we're in. The, the gongs don't seem to be coming from anywhere. They seem to be coming from <laughs> everywhere. <sighs> Inside your heart. Maybe it's like uh, that story about the pumpkin and the girl who turns into a pumpkin when she dies. What the so hell is that? <laughs> what? <laughs> Famous in the Giant Peach. I remember that story. Yeah. <laughs> Cinderella at night. Okay, so guys, it's useless being character. in this cave. Let's go deeper. You need the wheel. Yeah, where That's the fuck is the for. wheel? I thought he said he was giving us the wheel. No, the dwarf is still with to us. Take it. Uh, yeah, Green Blob is standing here. I there are two. Shake him. Where's the wheel? <laughs> it's in the storeroom. Where's, Where's the storeroom? <laughs> it's over there, but you'll never get through it. Why I'm not? taking you with me. We're okay. Going. All right, you guys walk in, and you can see dozens, uh, maybe not dozens, a, a dozen Dvergar all sitting around long tables. They're feasting, drinking mead, consuming reindeer. There's just loads of meat everywhere. Uh, they're having a good, good time until, of course, you guys bust in. What do you do? Um, I'm not going to try to be threatening and aggressive at them, but I am going to pull out my shovel and put it over my shoulder to assert my dominance. <laughs> so you ready yourself? Yes. What do you do? I'll let you roll strength or stamina to assert dominance. Uh, or personality, I'll... your choice of the three. It's definitely going to do strength. <laughs> we call her the Diggler. Okay, so uh, the 20... Diggler. A natural 20 or a modified uh, 20? Modified Well, either way, Diggler. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> okay. You can hear whispers of, she's the Diggler. <laughs> Quietly. <laughs> Shh, the Diggler. <laughs> <laughs> that is what happens. They're quiet now. What do you guys do? I'm going to say, we just need the star room. Where's the star room? The star room? <laughs> uh, one of the, d- the dwarf leader, Finbold, uh, steps forward. What's <laughs> Finbold. <laughs> Finbold the Fine. Finbold Finehair, I believe, is his full name. Such fine hair. Finbold Finehair steps forward. Uh, you people, uh, there's no harm done. Please, come over here. Take a sip of our mead. Drink some more stew first. There's no need for any hostility. You guys threw, us at, threw a hot, boiling pot of water at us and injured our friend. Well, that was Grimblop. He's not a smart man and doesn't even know how to count. Is there anything Listen, you now. can do for him? There we go. Good, sit down at the good man or woman. <laughs> and I begin to consume some mead. Excellent. Oh, excellent. Yes. <laughs> mead and meat. That's all we need. Please, mm-hmm. please. There's, there's, there's been a misunderstanding. We simply found you outside. We're trying to survive here. Here, would, would you like Would you like an entire reindeer head? Yes. I feel right. like if we eat the food, though, we might be trapped yes. here. Score. Why? Why? I don't know. Just I'm really hungry. hungry. Uh, cold. I am hungry. Oh, but please, I'm Finbold the Fine. Oh, what's your name? <laughs> uh, I can't seem to remember. It's been a while. I have some chicken meat. <laughs> <laughs> thought about myself. <laughs> kind of in a rut. <laughs> I'll let you try and make a roll to figure out one of your things. You choose a category. You can do the DC 15, 20, 10, or 5. <laughs> Wait, does that also oh. include anything like the cross from Yeah, everybody's taking a rest. I think everybody's sitting down and consuming with the dwer- Dvergar. They can all, uh, everyone can choose one thing and try and roll for it. Oh, oh just it. anything? Well, you have to roll for it. What's uh, a lucky roll? I will roll. Lucky roll. Uh, lucky roll says whenever you get that number, uh, something Wait, good what happens. what do we have to roll for it? I, do like, we, we have to pick something first? You have to pick something first. So you got it. You got to find. Oh, so we have to get up on whatever that is? Yeah. Correct. Okay. And then I'm going to do occupation. Oh, I think they're all just going to either do this or this. Well, well, I don't know anything, anything about myself. myself. <laughs> I'm going to try my for my fucker. stamina. Damn. Cool. You, you got it. I don't know. I'm going to try <laughs> so, for my intelligence, yeah. I guess. Yes. Sucks. I, I don't know. Ooh, so, yeah. Well, that's, that's that bad. Nothing, all right. As you guys do remember and party, you all fall into oh, another no. deep slumber. I don't remember. Oh, wait, no. I did get it. Motherfucker. But I am good at sleeping. 10. You are guys are ace at sleeping. As you dream, uh, just as you fall, at, fall asleep, you can hear ten loud chiming sounds. In the dream, you get another picture of the old grandmother woman, right? Old, kindly, earnest, wearing long uh, leather gauntlets that make, her, make it look like she has claws. She was probably fierce at some point in her life. She's tracing runes on a rock wall, trying to furiously point to them. Um, there's a number of different runic symbols on them. She points to them very furiously, but before you can ask her any questions, you all wake up. Remember the runes? 
Yeah, you'd, you recognize him if you saw him. Uh, you guys oops. have all your equipment. They haven't stolen anything else, but you guys are in what appears to be a small, abandoned part of the cave. You should have just killed those dwarves. I hate so they, dwarves. So they did trick us? <laughs> Where's the wheel? Probably. We don't know. We don't know what the gong makes. So maybe I, we, we didn't see anybody. Like, maybe it's like a trance. Oh, that's true. So we what? So we what? don't have our wheel thing then. We don't have our wheel. Thing. There's no wheel here. And there's a person knocking or looking at the rooms. No, no, no. Are there that was any your dream. Doors? There are two doors. Yes. Okay. Are we in the same room? Or are we? Absolutely not. You gotcha, guys are in a gotcha. colder, Whoa. danker. <laughs> Dank is a different word these days. <laughs> Can I try the door? Is there sure. A door? Yeah, it's locked. Can I try and like shoulder blast it? Sure. Shoulder. <laughs> yeah, you can flavor blast it. Roll strength. Flavor we are sponsored by, well, I shouldn't say, because then they'll actually ask for money. But content ID, the concept of Man, chips. my guy is just, like, utter shit. Maybe you're the, uh, maybe you're the bard. Because <laughs> I only have a plus one. That's, like, my best. Hey, that's pretty good in old school rules. Really you're going to have a great personality. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sorry, uh-huh. Seven. Uh, whatever, you make a fortitude, whatever you make a fortitude saving throw, mm-hmm. so you, uh, you, you get a bonus on it. Nothing happens at all. You roll two dice and choose the better one. And what was that, Devin? Nothing happens. Nothing like happens I, at all? I rolled a seven. <laughs> okay. Uh, you threw out your shoulder. Oh, Jesus. What's that door made of? Uh, wood. All right. Can we try the other door? Sure, I mean, absolutely. probably just set it on fire. The other door is... Nothing has gone wrong for second. Uh, let's try the other door first. Sure. Oh, the other door opens open up and out <laughs> to the loud and blowing snow. Uh, you appear to be further up the mountain, interestingly enough. Further up the mountain, because when you look to your right... You can see farther down, and you can see the tracks of where you guys woke up. There is a ruin right outside this door. Nice. Wait, does it look similar to one in a dream? It or certainly anything? does. Ooh. Oh, wait, sorry. It's the wrong one, but it doesn't matter <laughs> that much. Fear to see you must carry a piece of it. Piece of the dawn. Huh. Why does it have stink lines? Because it's, it's a smelly crystal. That's yeah. smelly fear. Here to say you must what carry is a piece the of the dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it, it appears to be written on a small stone, uh, like etched into a small stone that is placed uh, on the path going is further it, up the mountain. Like how small are we talking? Like, oh, we it's about as big as uh, that guy's head. Uh, no, I don't want to carry around a rock that big. Okay. <laughs> we, we should. So I'm gonna grab it. Okay. Have a we've got a big old rock. We could just take Writing light utensils. <laughs> Writing <laughs> with what? Smartphone. Uh, I mean, no. I mean, <laughs> yes, but the kitchen knives that we stole. <laughs> sure, and you guys have plenty of kitchen knives. Yeah. And yes, our so skin. we could just etch it into our skin. Yeah. I would. Oh, yeah. She's wood. Just our etch skin. it into the wood. Guys, we're already very <laughs> <our> tribal list. <laughs> <laughs> Someone etches in the wood. And let's go. <laughs> okay, you got a picture of the room. Yay. All right, I guess we'll go through the. Try the other door. Okay. That was a good flash. <laughs> are we going to bust open the other door? Sure. Uh, yeah, you guys are trying to go back into the cave. Someone uh, that's strong door should uh, approach that door. <laughs> I'm going to try it. Does right. anyone have, have like a weapon? Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Are they have the I'm going to try chopping at the, the, the bits. Find out what your base attack is, my man. The bits, the I thought it's a d6. Uh, well, it's a damage, but... Oh. Yeah. No, but you got it. Where's my penny? Eat the penny. He eats it the penny. Plus three. I think that's good, right? Yeah, that's three. pretty good. Nice. All right, so I'm um, worth something. <laughs> Wait, do I, uh... Roll this. Fourteen. Fourteen, and what do you add? Plus three. Seventeen. More than enough to get a good hit on the door. Roll two d6 this time. Damn. Six. Here's unnamed the guy. You, uh, Jack Nicholson, your way through the door. <laughs> Inside, you can see what looks... On the far side, you can see a, uh, another door. And from that door, you can see sort of shadows underneath it. You guys can kind of picture it. And, you know, you can hear the sound of revelry and merriment in that door. However, this is a long, wide hallway. Very wide. 40 feet on each side. And there are hundreds of stalactites there on the ground and stalagmites up on the sky. On the sky? Mm-hmm. Well, on the ceiling. Is there a path through, or is it just pst, well, you can black do, things? Oh, there's still, well, there, <laughs> there's a path through, but uh, it's pretty narrow, and it'll be tricky to get through. What do you guys do? Let's go single file. Yeah. I can see those dwarf motherfuckers over there. All right. Is there any other doors? Just that door? Like, well, you, you can, can do whatever you want. Oh, the way back out like, the... fucked us over path? so many times, <laughs> so it's like, whatever goes, man. I got... 
I got a ten foot pole. Except, you, can I just knock stuff over? Yeah, you want to try? Mm, uh, well, yeah, what if there's diamonds in these stalagmites <coughs> or types? I don't think that's, like that's how a, that works. Yeah, that's a very bad idea. Plus, yeah. they'll hear us. Yeah. Um, no, cool. they're having merriment. They are having very loud merriment. <laughs> they didn't hear a door Ooh, again. That kind of merriment. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we're about true. to go through a whole tunnel of just destroying things. You yeah, know, just like someone's going to hear that. Just like one or two. Uh, one or two. Sure. Okay, you knock one over. Just the ones that, uh, uh, it falls over and you can, uh, it, it crumbles to the ground. There's no loot inside. Mm-hmm. However, me, nearby, uh, a three of them fall mm-hmm. from the ceiling. When they hit yeah. the ground, they turn over and, and you can see three vicious stalagmen. Uh, with their arms popping out. See? Barry, what'd you do to them? <laughs> <laughs> this is why you don't attack random I, things. I didn't. I didn't. You just did. I did. I did. I did. I did. Oh. <laughs> One of the stalagmen is leaning forward with his strange pointed ho- top of the head and is getting ready to charge. Okay. Number five, you. Oh, Jesus. What do you guys do? You I have hold my hand ice up to the nearest stalag. Might? Night. Okay. Yeah. Night with a K. It's the lag night. Sure. Yeah. Like, Don't move. Ha! Very funny. That's that's Jeff. Nobody likes him. <laughs> All right, I killed Jeff. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> uh, actually, roll your luck for me really quick. So then, what's your armor? Plus one. I don't know. But what do we so know? Are we single or we by the Oh, I'm sorry. Who's in front then? That would make way more sense. Yeah. I wasn't sure. In that case, uh, what's, what's your luck? 13? Wow, that's actually really great. Uh, you know what? I think uh, instead, um, they do look really horrified when you kill them. Like, that wasn't Jeff. That was Jimmy. I mean, I rolled a five. I mean, it's still good. <laughs> so they're charging. <laughs> so what if the stalagmite charges you? It implants uh, your, its uh, massive spike into your stomach. Wait, hold on. And you take four points of damage. Man, I didn't get a chance to put my pole down to like... Just not. Ah. What do you guys do? I think uh, it's going to be... I think we got to kill me. Yeah. I'm going to point my javelin at, um, what is it, Barry? Yeah. And I threaten to him, I will kill Steve if you touch (laughs) any of my friends. Uh, Okay, that's pretty good. Roll personality. Oh, it's a big 16. It's a big die, yeah. yeah I, 16? Mm-hmm. It's not treating me well. Okay, so two of the stalag men uh, calm down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, come on. That's, 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 that's Steve. <laughs> Steve mm-hmm. didn't do nothing to you. Oh, I know. But the third one is still freaked out. What do you okay. do? Pick him up and throw him. Oh, dude. Shatter him. <laughs> Pick him up and, like... I'm going to smack it, like, just, like, with my shovel. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be pretty. Sounds good. Perfect. Find out what enemy. your base attack is first. Gotcha. Plus D6. Holy crap. Whoa. Really good. Okay. Could be. So that's a one. And then you roll D20 and add it to the, your base attack. Oh. That's Three. Oh. Four. Uh, well, oh. you know what? I'll, I'll let you get a reroll because shovels are designed to destroy these. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, nice. Wait, both of them are just... Just one. Okay, that's better. So, 14. 14. Uh, you smack one of the uh, stalagmites or stalactites mm-hmm. and uh, it shatters into a bunch of pieces. The two other stalagmen freak out. They're like, oh my god, we give up. We gotta get out of here. Come on, boys. Oh, and the third one is still charging and is getting ready to gore uh, the unnamed woman to my right. I already said it was already gored. Uh, it's gonna do it again. Go what do you do? Uh, can I slap it with my staff? Sure, go for it, man. Good, Good luck. Shit. What do I, what do I use? <laughs> Uh, roll a d20 and add your strength. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't that be base attack? Uh, that's a shame. Okay. No, you add your base attack. Yeah, you're right. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Yeah, plus two. I'll take it. Nice. Maybe you're a monk. Uh, I'm, I'm a pretty slow monk. <laughs> uh, 16. 16? Okay, good news. Good news is you keep it from going her instantly. Bad news, it's a staff against the stalagmen. A lethal stalagmen. So I just knock him down? Yeah, it's your turn. What do you do? I'm going to try to, like, as he backs up. What was that? As he backs up, I'm going to, like, take my pole and, like, try to shove him back. Oh, you're going to try and push him back? Yeah. Sure, I like that. Uh, go ahead and uh, unlock your agility score. Here we go. Yeah, that's fine. 
Don't oh. worry, mine's an eight. So, <laughs> you are a geriatric, uh, <laughs> and uh, I don't think we're going to need to roll as your, your your old, tired arms are not able to knock him away. So that's the kind of bull you have. <laughs> that makes sense of why you have a, a it's 11. It's like pain. No. You have 11 hit points, you have an iron helmet, why uh, a you use pole, the sword? and a sword, inexplicably. I assume the sword would, like, just shatter. He's a big rock. Uh, the stalag guy, uh, uh, the stalag guy, what was this guy's name? Oh I think it was, let's say it's Gerald. Stalag guy Gerald gets knocked away, but he's, uh, still getting ready to gore you. What do you do? I thought someone was helping me. I, uh, throw I, I my hand axe at one, one, one of the other guys that's standing up. Holy shit, okay. I don't think I need to hit, you just, you just get him. Okay. You just kill another of my standing stalag man. What do you do? You have a hand axe too? Yeah. Yeah! Alright, I'm gonna throw my hand axe at Holy guys. shit, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I like this. Tomahawk it. Thirteen. Okay, you finally get him, and uh, this stalag man falls to the ground, uh, and you can see, um, uh, not wa not blood, but like uh, 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 amber seeping out of him. It crystallizes as he uh, stops moving. The, the entire cave seems to get up, and all these stalag men have fled out the door. Yay, we did it! Okay, nice can we listen they to the door that we can? Uh, oh, they absolutely do. You guys recover your hand axes, and you can also find the stalagman's most treasured possession, oh. a massive iron pot. Yeah. Yay. Put the pot in the barrel. With the meat? With the meat and, and the pants. pants. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Now you got a double cooker. Is it too? Is it too heavy? No, I think it's, it's getting good. it's it's getting better actually. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice barrel. There you go. I was born with this barrel. <laughs> you were born in the barrel. <laughs> yeah. You guys can hear ten chimes. Do I remember? Wait, are there still? Nine chimes. Okay. Cool. Um, Do you guys hear oh, that? What does it sound like in yes. the next room with the dwarfs? Are they still partying? Merriment. Okay. All right. We bust in this See, time. We bust in and yeah, just let, kill some. Rush the door. Yeah, like they fucked us up, so let's fuck <laughs> them. Yeah. Okay. You guys bust down the door. Inside, you can see a bunch of dwarves who were until a few seconds ago partying. There are ten of them. Uh, what do you guys do? We need to say what the actual fuck. <laughs> You're back. Yeah. You drugged us, didn't you? Uh, no, it's not our fault. You can't take poisonous berries in your meat. I throw my axe. Okay. <laughs> Nineteen. You yeah. plant on the head of Grimgalob, oh. and he falls over. <laughs> We're doing genocide right now, but okay. Um, in a much fancier fashion, I also throw my hand axe. It's like, is it like a tennis guy where you go? <laughs> I wind up it's like a baseball pitch. Excellent. <laughs> so. Roll. What am I rolling? Uh, roll a d20 and add your base attack. What does the room look like? What's, what's happening in the room? Plus a uh, d7! Ha <laughs> ha, suck it! Uh, I don't know how to... Hey, we have I, I, DP, X, uh, uh, X, XP. How, what, 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 how would you roll a, a d7? How do you what? How would you roll a d7? Line! <laughs> <laughs> Move to the shot! Uh, how would you roll a d7? Uh, uh, a d1 with a d3? Do you, do, you do you not have a d7? No, we don't have a d7! <laughs> Wait, are you real? Couldn't you just roll a d8 and then yeah, just count it and that's, just re-roll on Yeah, that's a good idea. Do a d8 minus one. Do a d8 and if you get an eight, ignore it. Well, we put the exception of one. <laughs> See, you rolled them both together. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Right. Same thing. So... So we say that's a five? Sure, sounds good. Finbold fine hair falls to the ground in a bloody heap. Yes! Wow, we are really going you know at no, it, right? You scalp him Ooh. with the tomahawk. Oh, that's, no, that's cool. But he's alive? That's gruesome. I, I don't yeah. know, it's up to you. No, yeah. What do you do? Yeah. I um, find the nearest dwarf, mm -hmm. take my javelin, and Thank I do you. a jump attack. <laughs> All right, some on box shit, I like yeah. it. Uh, go ahead and roll, roll and add your base attack. Yes! Holy crap! I don't know what my base attack is. That's okay, you're about to find out. It's in the upper right hand corner. really yeah, big and stupid, it seems. I hate uh, I mean, my intelligence is okay. What was that? Plus right? two. Oh, okay. nice. Yeah, oh, that's easy. Gonna lead, gonna hit well, the Dvergar. Yeah, roll your damage, man. Yeah. Actually, you don't need to. It's a javelin. What am I talking yeah. about? It's a javelin. It's a javelin. Yeah, he falls into uh, so how, what happens why. to him? 
what happens to him. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just weak. He, he starts crying and he goes for the nearest mead um, cup and I take it from his hand, from his dying hand, and I start pouring it all over myself and screaming <laughs> with a bloody hurl. It is incredible. And the camera slows down. They underclock it so they can get all I the... I stare at my next victim. Okay. <laughs> what do you do? Um, I'm, I was gonna go, uh, Screaming in with my shovel, just smacking dwarves in the face left and right. Yeah, I love it. That's great. Do it. Yeah, it's it's gonna be gruesome. Um, hope that's okay. Sure. Shovel knight. Okay, so so the gotta, 19 that's yeah. gonna hit. Uh, however, I'll let you get rid of two dwarves instead of one if you have a good one liner. Shove this, bitch. That's acceptable. <laughs> right, okay, so that's not good. <laughs> All right, uh, one of them falls to the ground unconscious, uh, but that's only because you chopped off one of their heads and it hit, them in the, hit the other guy on the head. Oh, uh, that's a really good material. Can you dig it? What do you do? Yeah, there we go. Can you dig it? Can you, can you dig, dig it? it? Yeah. Uh, uh, I had a. Is there like. <laughs> like. Is there a fire anywhere? Oh, you know there's a fire. I'm a gonna, big, I'm dangerous, gonna, open fire. I'm going to take my staff and hit the fire into a group of dwarves. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, I like that. I'll actually let you choose to roll one of your abilities, like agility, perhaps, or even intelligence, actually, if you can explain how. Yeah, intelligence? Because uh, my agility sucks. Well, how, are, how does intelligence help? Intelligence? I uh, I see that the the people that have like I'm aiming for have meat in their hands, mm -hmm. so I want to aim so for the meat so it explodes. Oh, sure, them. as we all know, uh, Dvergar meat is highly explosive. Yeah, yeah. Really, really, really explosive. It's, just, it's, it's like it's like ninety proof. So what do I what do I roll for this? <laughs> I'll let you roll and add your agility. Add my agility. They just or intelligence. Sorry. intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> they just drink rocket fuel. Nat 20. Natural twenty. Okay. <laughs> 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 but you have to describe it, of course. Um, I'm a, I'm gonna make this like a goofy thing where it, like I don't know if it's goofy. You just killed like 20 guys, but go okay, on. No, I'm gonna you will hit goofy like, nuts. I'm gonna hit two candles up in the air, and then like my own staff is gonna light on fire, and I'm gonna become a twirling death ball, <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna hit a whole bunch of guys. At the same time, and they're all going to explode into fire. Oh, because they're all, of course. Yeah, because they're all they drinking meat. Drinks. And the meat no. is just rocket fuel. It's just rocket fuel. <laughs> it's actually just uh, So the crazy thing is, when you look at the brand name, it just says, it just says Valvoline on it. <laughs> so, uh, all right. Pure uh, petroleum. It's 100% crude. All right, well, you guys are standing in a room filled with smoking uh, Dvergar corpses. Is there any more mead left? Like, in I'm pretty sure it's all just gone. Destroyed I think it it's all, all gone. Sorry, Are there any yeah, other doors? Then would yeah, but Oh, yeah, there's three more doors here. Okay, uh, maybe one crazy. of them is a storage room. Let's look through some doors. Yeah. Okay, sure. I'll just give them to you. So, the first door, uh, you find uh, a sword. Yay! It's an abundance of Dvergar clothing, but it's not very fashionable. I guess you won't be needing you, that hand axe. Congratulations. You find a big old bag of dirt. Wow, everything I ever wanted. I need you to roll your luck, and you need to roll your luck too, and the uh, and uh, you, I got good news for you. Ooh. You find a big barrel. Another barrel? Big enough that you can put all your barrels inside this one. <laughs> what the fuck? Nine. I hope I find a third barrel. <laughs> With nine? Yeah. Well, well, yours? I'm sure I'm a dirt expert. Uh, two? Oh. Two with nothing. Okay, that's not great. That's, an, yeah. that's not good. Yeah. So what? what's the equipment called? Dire Barrel? Fine. A Dire Barrel, I like it. <laughs> All right, unfortunately, you guys don't find anything else of note, but you do get the wheel. Jerry. Nice. Dun, 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 dun. this stupid oh, bag of dirt. Yeah. My a specialist at analyzing dirt to know if this actually is worth anything. I think it's and time if to... if I should uh, carry it around. I think it's time to find out what your class is. Your classes. Okay, my class ability or my character class? I think your character class. Okay, it's time. Dirt expert. The moment of Sylvia's <laughs> true awakening. <laughs> oh, I'm a warrior. How exciting. That makes sense. You know, I am Shovel Knight. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys think Ooh. that a warrior would know much about dirt? No. No, no. no not at all. I'm I feel like what intelligence, in intelligence now factors in. I think you have to roll your intelligence. Oh, damn. Dirt. It's good dirt. <laughs> GM. I hope you have like some dirt. Oh, it's not. It's not good intelligence. Let me tell you. Okay. It's alright. This is um this is what's known as uh ur dirt. Ur, ur dirt. Ur dirt, like you are, are dirt. It's dirt from special? the time before time. 
the first dirt made known to man. Uh, in the in the old era, the the first beings uh, helped craft uh, helped craft the world, and they used ur dirt for it. Uh, legends say that consuming ur dirt gives you visions of the future and the past. Ooh, how fun! <laughs> Is it compiled with nitrogen? In it? That's probably what's doing it. The nitrogen. No, it's magic. You just gotta eat the dirt. Okay. Eat the future. Okay. Eat the future. It's like eating. dip. You gotta Can put I, like, it between roll your gums. For that? I'm a cleric. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm That's definitely gonna get parachuting. pumped at this. Let's focus on the wheel first. <laughs> you guys have the wheel. I feel like she's just gonna be like snorting it every. Do you have? Yeah, I have the dirt. Yeah, I'm gonna snort some dirt. Okay. And let him just make a line. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we went to drugs what, real quick. What, what is this wheel? Thing? Yeah. It looks like a nice. It's like a. It's like a ceremonial wheel. There's lots for a bunch of candles in there. Is it you guys, what is it? Or is it it's got spokes. Right. Yeah. Oh, so it's like a. Da, 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 da. Is it? Yeah. What material is made of? Wood. Is it heavy? Oh, I think uh, so. It's not comfy to carry. I would like to put candles into my barrel, unlit. Why? Okay. Would they? Oh, there's plenty of candles in here, by the way. There's loads of candles. Why? Sweet. I'm going to take something. Candles in a wooden wheel. To symbolize how daylight savings time is awful, and when you spin it, it means the sun's coming back because it's the end of the solstice. Well, what if it catches on fire? Because you, you. Look, man, they can't afford metal. It's just a village. Stone. <laughs> dirt. They're dirt dwarves. wheel. Stone wheel. Your Stone vision, wheel. you see two things. Both of them have the grandmother in it. First, a ladder made of stars, and second, a statue made of ice melting from flames. Oh. The ice screams in pain. Do we kill it? I think she's, we need to go bit, outside, guys. Me. Yeah, I'm hallucinating on dirt right now. <laughs> uh, I want to go into the storm. I need to find these giants. I need to find this woman. If she's made of ice or icy in some weird way, got to get closer to her. We should probably this rest. This is the, the drug addict probably talking, though. Sure. <laughs> yeah, you guys can absolutely rest. If you guys want to take a rest, everybody can choose a thing and try and roll to unlock your next ability. Okay. We did just fill like a whole room. Full. What does the occupation do? The doors never even got a turn. I realize. Yeah. Oh, they did. Which adds to the horror. <laughs> like, well, we they had their chance. Right they the had end. their chance. They drugged us. That's, no I guess, mercy. I guess you're not wrong. No mercy. I'm gonna go with five. Occupation. Yes. I know what I do for a living. Nope. Nope. Nothing. Just blank. Oh, fuck. That's boring as shit. Oh, oh no. Nope. Nope. Don't go. No, nothing on here. No, but. Of course. I'm so Just good at trying to guys. Don't want to read that. Yeah. I'm an armor. Armor. I miss some shit. Oh, nice. There's Wait, nothing. What? How are you oh. weak? What? Oh, my agility. Oh, we'll do two more. My agility is shit. Blank. Well, I think that's part well, of it. did it hammer? That's it. true. No. Maybe I should just stop. Maybe you should that not try to have so much iron. Or there, there will be like one like right there. It's like a joke scene. Yeah, I should have should probably went for occupation first. Uh, How many skills can I roll for? Just one. Oh, okay. Spells all right, so you guys all wake up. Um, you can hear eight loud chiming sounds. Oh, man, we're all going to die. Yeah. Eight. Hey, guys, I think you should light some candles on the wheel to increase our time. Fuck it. It's worth a try. <laughs> I'm doing it. Maybe it'll all right. all the candles. Uh, you guys light some candles on the wheel and it feels nice. It's warm. <laughs> yeah, that makes me happy though. Is it doing anything? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can I pray? Sure. Can I roll to pray. Sure. What's your god? My god is um, Baphomet. <laughs> okay. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Does he know? Is there a spot for God? No, I'm in Baphomet spot. All right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come on, Baphomet. <laughs> you just roll and die. All right, uh, does Satan answer? On a 10. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need a nat 20 on I think I would need a nat 20. What does, what does your prayer to Baphomet look like? Um, well, seeing as I don't even know my own name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, he rolls his eyes back. Yeah, he, yeah. he uses the dwarf front and just like, oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> What's wrong with In that? front of the candle wheel, yeah. Is there any I start place sweating. That we haven't seen? Yeah, there's a number of different doors. Uh, there, you can also go check out the, uh, there's there's one more door that you can check out here. There's also the ice path that goes both yeah, uh, up and down. Yeah, I want to go outside. I want to find my bitch. Okay. Well, Maybe she's locked up in one of the rooms, though, behind the door. <gasps> Scandal. I think we should split up, gang. Sure. 